that's interesting to see how we are so different and at the same time having the same challenges. Because we have different systems and very often we are not aware of the good things in our system. So it's very valuable when we discuss among each other, share what are the challenges in respective systems, but also to share best practice so we can apply it back at home. It's time to make the teacher profession more attractive in order to recruit and retain qualified teachers to the benefit of students' learning outcome. In, in many countries, career is simply uh, salary progression. But to, to describe the different paths of professional uh, opportunities as a teacher is very important for school development. At the core of our work is an understanding that if you want to create meaningful learning experiences for all young people in Europe, you need to have enough passionate and highly competent teachers and school leaders. They are the ones responsible for learner development on a daily basis and it is the learners for whom they undertake their professional role. Not only do European school education systems want to continually recruit enough teachers and school leaders, they also want to keep and nurture them, so it is an issue of retention. Another key objective is what we might call regeneration, the idea that professionals should be motivated to continually reflect and develop themselves, as well as support their wider profession by sharing practice with others and mentoring less experienced colleagues. However, we know serious teacher shortages are being reported and school education careers are still often seen as flat or one-dimensional with few or no opportunities for progression. This raises a serious challenge both for schools and for school education systems. As a policymaker, most of the time we pay attention to the teachers in general as one whole group. But it's also very important to take into account the teacher as an individual and how they evolve during their career and during their professional life. So I think it's important to find a balance between looking at individual teachers and looking at the teaching teachers as a whole group in your uh, education system. The development of teachers and school leaders and their career progression involves a dynamic interplay between motivation, ability and opportunity. And all three are necessary the motivation to develop one's own ability and those of colleagues, and the opportunities to put that ability into practice. Equally, if an unexpected opportunity arises, there should be support in developing the necessary new abilities to fulfil that role. Putting this into practice requires a particular understanding of teachers' and school leaders' working lives as a career, a path over a significant period of time with different opportunities for variation and progress within or across a profession. What we develop together within the working group is a much wider understanding of uh, how teachers can develop and progress during their uh, lifespan as a teacher. And that has a much wider variety than uh, often we think about. And I think that really enriches our understanding and I think it's an important understanding for teachers to be to become aware of all these opportunities that are there for teachers. But I think it's important that teachers have the opportunities to develop, to vary in their work, uh, because through that they will stay passionate uh, in their teaching and in the work within schools. And I think passionate teachers is a, a key for uh, a rich uh, and rich learning of pupils. Rather than view careers in school education as one-dimensional, there are several different ways of understanding teachers' and school leaders' career paths, based on examples that we know are already established in countries throughout Europe. The most obvious examples are gaining a position of increased responsibility or becoming a more competent or expert teacher, so moving up or moving up and out. There's also the idea of taking on a new role in the same school, such as a special needs coordinator, or changing contexts such as moving schools or between primary and secondary education. Add to that the possibility of working not just in school, but also outside it at the same time. For example, helping to lead a network or being a regional advisor. And of course, the possibility of moving out to a new career or coming into the profession from a different field. We believe strongly that by acknowledging the different possible career paths, school education systems can hope to positively change the working lives of its professionals and attitudes towards the profession. Within the Netherlands we have already been discussing the whole idea of, of teacher careers, but I think the exchange within the European context 
really in, um, challenged us to look at what have we in place and what still is missing. And I think especially the idea of, of having a framework to support teacher careers has been illuminating for us. The Working Group Schools is made up of representatives of European ministries of education and stakeholder organisations. This includes policy officers, many of whom are former teachers, as well as researchers, inspectors, directors of aspects of school education, which means we don't hold typical meetings, but we work more in a workshop environment as a community of practitioners. And over the past 18 months, we've also invited other experts of school education and representatives of student and school head organisations to our event, which I feel has added a richness and diversity to the discussions. For me, the whole process of uh, the ET2020 Schools uh, Working Group has been about peer learning, uh, about uh, knowing and uh, getting to know what uh, the other countries are doing, changing ideas, uh, inspiring each other. So uh, I do think that the whole uh, process uh, has been very beneficial. It's always amazing to work with people from all these different countries in Europe and we really get the sense that some of the problems are the same, even if in different contexts. And since we are doing the curricular reform and we are changing the training uh, of the teachers and we have also introduced a new policy where we recognize all the additional work that the teachers do, such as projects, for us this guidebook, um, guidebook is very important. Yeah, very often they are not aware that even when they do the training, when they share the knowledge with their peers, at the school level that they are actually moving in their career and they are not staying at the same at the same level. The guide should help school leaders and school heads maybe in realizing the importance of their role in identifying the professional needs of their teachers and the needs of their schools and that it should become part of a professional conversation at individual level with teachers that the school head, the school leader would say what are your learning needs and how can we facilitate those? Well, I really hope they will be more confident and more aware about the opportunities in and outside their teacher careers. I hope that they will understand that um, attention and support need to be given to teacher and school leader careers in order to attract and retain them into the system and keep them motivated.